Hello Internet, it is Alex R on Fight Games one more time and we're going to do another Tiny Tekken tutorial. I want to talk about Heihachi today. Uh, up until recently there weren't too many good Heihachi guides available on YouTube. Uh, but just recently, um, the main man Sui has made a really good one and I totally recommend that you watch it and it gives you a great overview for how to play Heihachi, how to think about Heihachi, what some of Heihachi's most important moves are. And uh, it's great and you should watch it if you're trying to learn how to be a Mishima player, uh, in general. Uh, furthermore, there's a really great, well, I assume it's really great, there's a guide by a Korean player named Gura, and uh, unfortunately that one is not yet um, subtitled in English yet, but all of his other guides are super good, and the ones that have subtitles on them in English are like, I completely recommend them. So the Heihachi one, they say they're gonna subtitle it soon, and I'll link to it and you should watch it. Uh, if it's been subtitled by now. Uh, but anyway, so I wanted to add a few things. Like, the Main Man Sweet Guide is, is really quite good. Uh, but there's a few things that I feel like are somewhat important to know about Heihachi, and I'd like to add those in uh, in this video. So let's let's just do that. All right, so first thing, Heihachi has a hop kick. Uh, so it's uh, 15 frames, 15 to 17 frames. It has like, several active frames. And... Uh, what this is useful for is uh, it counter hit launches. So if you think somebody's gonna run in on you and like do a move, that's a launch. And you can get a combo off of it. There might be some better combo, like I haven't like optimized that combo, but uh, probably something like that. And uh, yeah, it only launches on counter hit. But if you think somebody is gonna get aggressive, you can throw that out, maybe at the start of the round, uh, maybe if you're getting rushed down. If low crush is, obviously, it's a hop kick. Uh, so people often don't know about that. The other thing about Heihachi, uh, so yeah, just do that sometimes. Or it's, it's a pretty good, like, get off me. It is punishable, but uh, normally, like, if you use it sparingly, people are surprised that you did it. So that's pretty good. Um, Heihachi has some, like, surprisingly evasive moves for such a kind of, you know, normal, like, you know, karate guy. Uh, he's got uh, down back 2, which everybody talks about, which is arguably his best low. But uh, he's also got this, which is uh, down back 1 plus 2. And uh, it is super duper evasive. It, it obviously high crush is great. But it avoids a lot of mids as well. You use it kind of like you would use a backswing blow. Like if you think they're gonna swing, you're poking them, you know, you're doing stuff. Just throw that out like occasionally. Like it's not a all the time move because it is minus 14. So you're gonna get you're gonna get hurt pretty badly. Probably knocked down, maybe conceivably launched uh, for that. But uh, it's mid mid. Uh, and you know if somebody doesn't know how to punish Heihachi, maybe you'll get away with throwing it out. Uh, but it's, it is super duper amazing. It goes under all kinds of mids. Very useful. Uh, okay, but speaking of very, very useful, and Main Man Sweet did talk about this move. Uh, I want to talk about forward four. I'm gonna drink a little bit of tea here. Forward four is so good. So if you can get people to stop pressing buttons, it's not super fast, it's like 19 to 20 frames. But if you can get people to stop pressing buttons for a second, like, this is so good for pressure. The range is okay, but here's the important thing about it. You can dash into it. And then the range is big, right? You can be, like, back here. Dash forward forward. Very good. And the reason why he can do that, and, like, Kazuya has a harder time with it... Kazuya has a very similar move, right? He's got the same move. But he's also got a forward forward forward. Which Heihachi does not have, so Heihachi can just, like, do this, like, you know, out of a wave dash, just out of a regular dash. Just, it's so good, you should do this all the time. And the reason he gets better follow-ups uh, off of it, uh, Heihachi does. So if it counter hits, so, okay, on block, it's like plus four or plus five, which is great. On hit, it's plus, you know, a bunch. Uh, and they're crouching, so it's like, that's huge, right? On counter hit, there's two situations where you get guaranteed follow-ups. First one is on counter hit, so if on counter hit, you get a guaranteed stomp. That's the easy combo. Easy combo is just do down three. And you can do this, like, every time, right? Just down three. That's guaranteed. 
a slightly harder combo for 4 more damage is dash down 4. You have to dash. If you just do down 4, that'll whiff. But that's not so hard. You can learn to do that. Uh, but that's completely guaranteed. But you have to dash. So if you want the easy mode combo for whatever reason, you know, you're not comfortable dashing into a down 4 in the clutch, uh, you can just do... Uh, and that's only for less damage. So if you think you're going to kill him, for example, like if that's the end of the round, just down 3. Sure, yeah. Alright, the other situation where it's guaranteed is if they are crouching. So if you get a down 4 on a crouching opponent, you are at plus 13. And what that means, this is very important, you get a guaranteed down forward 1-2. This combos. So we're going to... That's completely guaranteed. And as you may know, uh, down forward 1-2 uh, wall splats. So what happens here is there's a specific stun animation. You can learn to see it. You see that? Kind of like reels down a little bit. That only happens on a crouching opponent. Completely guaranteed. So learn to see that. Uh, learn to see that animation, and then do down forward one two uh, in response to that. So that's that's really good. So that's pretty nice. Uh, all right. So I wanted to talk about that. Um, let's see here. There's a couple of situations where you get a guaranteed death fist. Uh, as you may know, um, off while standing one, if you ever get this knockdown, so look at this animation right here. If they fall on their back like that and they're close enough, you get a death fist. So Heihachi's death fist, like Paul, is QCF2, like that. So that's pretty good. But there's a few other situations that cause that same flop, uh, which I will show you right now. There, I think this is an exhaustive list, but if there's another one, please let me know. So off a uh, forward one plus two like this, that's your 12 frame punish if they're close. Uh, if you do this headbutt, they have that same flop, and off that flop, you get the death fist. So that's nice. Completely guaranteed. That's a combo. The other situation where you get it is off um, down, uh, down one, two. So down one is so good, right? It's got huge range. It hits people in low stances. So this will hit like AOP. This will hit um, you know Eddie in a relax. Uh, and the range is really big, right? So you can be like here. Maybe not. You can be here. You see how far he scoots forward when he does it? He like hops forward a little bit. So the second hit of this is down one, two. And if the second hit counter hits, which I will demonstrate right here, here. Same flop. And off that flop, you get a death fist. So people often don't know about this. Oh, and this is completely safe, right? This is minus nine. And the second hit is also minus nine on block. So it's not very risky to throw this out. You can just do this. All right. Uh, and people don't know about it because it's new for Tekken 7. So in tag one, or tag two, he didn't have it, right? It's just down, down one and that was that was it. But now there's a second hit. So people are like tempted to press a button. You counter hit him with the second one, you guarantee death fist. Very nice. There's a bunch of situations where you get a death fist like in combos also. Like, um, so if you can end a combo, you know, with like a, a health sweep while standing one, you can often construct a situation where you get a death fist. And those are those are like pretty swag. Uh, I won't go into all the situations uh, where that's available. Um, all right, so I want to talk about wave dashing for a second, and I think this is the last like major section here. So Heihachi's uh, out of his wave dash. Um, it's more easy to get uh, while standing one. So you can like while standing four is like a super good option out of his wave dash, right? And this is easy for all missions. Um, all you have to do here is your crouch dashing and you let go, so you, it's a crouch dash neutral 4. And that'll be while standing 4 every time. For Heihachi, you can hit confirm his while standing 4. So into a second, into the tsunami kick, right? 
So that's... It's tough, but you can do it in principle. Uh, Alright. So... Yeah, also about while standing one, like... It's 14 frames, right? It would be... There's so many situations with Kazuya where you... You know, his while standing one, two will punish... It's a it's his 13 frame uh, Punisher, and you can just launch so much stuff with that. And Heihachi just doesn't have that, and it's, it's really unfortunate. But just remember about his while standing one, it is a 14 frame uh, move. So all these moves that... Uh, all these like things that you would punish with while standing one with Kazuya and get a launch, uh, you can't do that with Heihachi. So like... Um, Brian's forward forward one or um, like a Mishima down forward one two like that like for um, Heihachi or uh, Kazumi. Kazuya just launches that right or um, all of Josie's good lows like her switch three or her crouch dash three those are minus 13 uh, and you you don't get while standing one like remember this like if you're a Kazuya player playing Heihachi like you gotta remember things that are minus 13 you don't get while standing one it's 14 frames pretty important. Okay, so uh, now... Alright, so we talked about um, hit confirming. Now I want to talk about Hell Sweep for a second. So Heihachi's Hell Sweep is pretty inarguably like worse than uh, Kazuya's or Devil Jin's. So first hit does not trip. So for, for Kazuya, you know, you get a knockdown, right? Every time. No. Like that, you do crush dash four one, and for Devil Jin, you get a you get a combo like a big combo. Uh, it's damage scaled, but it's it's like really oppressive uh, that he can just you know launch you from an unseeable low. For Heihachi, what you get instead is a, uh, a mix up. So you get this unseeable low. You know this is like minus a billion, right? If they block it. Uh, but if the first hit hits and it comes out just as fast as the other, just as fast as the other health sweeps, now you get a mix up. So your option is continue hold to hold down forward and do a second low kick like this. And to get that, you, you gotta continue to hold down forward and hit four a second time. Uh, and if you do this, then that trips, and that's actually a full launcher. And the combo that you can do, there's like two ways to do the combo, basically. So what I did there, if you look at the command history, I let go of down forward, and I hit neutral four. So it's Crouch dash four, hold down down forward, hit neutral, or er, hit four second time for the second low kick. And then you let go of the direction and you hit neutral four. You can also do three low kicks if you want. Like that. So that's an okay combo, but I, I think the, the max damage combo that you can do, I think, is like this. And that's 60 damage off of it's not guaranteed, right? Because they can block the second low kick. But the second low kick is not that punishable. It's only minus 11. So you're not going to get hit. You're not going to get hurt that bad uh, for doing the second low kick. The other option is you can do... Uh, uh, you can immediately go with the neutral four. And if you're really good, you can hit confirm the, the neutral four into the second, uh, second hit of the tsunami kick. As mentioned before, that's just his normal while standing four. But people are really incentivized, if they know, they're really incentivized to try to block the second hit, because they don't want to get launched, obviously. Right? You can learn to learn to, you know, block the second hit on reaction. Uh, even if you get hit with the first one. So that's the deal with Heihachi's Hell Sweep, is it it creates a mix-up opportunity, and it's it's very risky, right? Because, you know, that's like super launch punishable on block. Uh, but it gives you this like really nice mix-up. So that's actually more damage to do while standing 4-4. It's more damage than to do the, uh, the God Fist there. So it's 10 more damage. Uh, so if you think they're going to block, you know, after the first hit, you just do while standing 4-4. Like that. And that's 45 damage. That's pretty good, right? Uh, well, it's not great. It's, it's kind of high risk. Uh, alright, um, let's see here, did I want to talk about anything else? Oh yeah, so, like that, that's very easy to do. You just hit neutral, neutral one and you'll get it every time. Unlike, you know, 
to get like while standing moves for mission, but sometimes you gotta do like a special cancel where you hold back. Like, not like that. Like that. Um, and that's that takes some practice. Um, but it's not that important for Heihachi. There's no like, uh, there's no super good reason to do like while standing two out of your wave dash. But if you, uh, you can do that. Okay, so um, the other like. In general, for Heihachi, it's important to train yourself to uh, learn to get the while standing four out of um, out of Hell Sweep, like whenever you want, because it's important in combos. Uh, so, for example, like if you get like this, you know, you want to do some combo like that, right? Where you it, it has a Hell Sweep neutral four. It's not super hard, but it takes a little bit of practice. Um, you gotta train yourself to like let go of the direction at the right time. Uh, yeah, so really that's all I wanted to say about uh, extra things for Heihachi. You should go watch those other two tutorials. Oh, and also the Cut CC one is quite good. Uh, but yeah, uh, so hope everybody's uh, doing well, and uh, hope you're playing some Tekken, and uh, yeah. So uh, have fun. Thanks a bunch, Internet. See ya.